Check out all the new flowers. If you struggle to grow this many flowers, don't stress. Stick around and I'll show you how. Hey YouTube, it's Alexa Giovanni here for another Animal Crossing related video. This time we're learning about the effects of guests watering your flowers. And you'll notice there's some dark garden beds which have the flowers that are I'm either cloning or breeding. And you can use this technique regardless of what stage of the flower breeding process you are. So in my case, I've spent a fair bit of time to clone these to the point of wanting just these flowers so I can copy them. So this is a sparkling status after I've personally watered these myself and this is before anyone else arrives on my island. So let's invite some people. So this is our first guest, Jordan. Welcome to Chelsea. Don't worry, Jordan. It happens to the best of us. So he's just borrowing a can after he's broke. And this is the status after he's watered. So Jordan's left the island and we've got our second guest, so Guns. And this is a result of Guns gunning it with all the watering that he's done. And on to our next guest, here we have Esther. So it's a little hard to tell, but the sparkling is becoming more and more frequent and a little bit brighter. And this is guest number four, Bunny from Star Valley. And followed soon after by Lisa. Welcome to Chelsea. And this here is exactly what you want to be able to see when you have people water. Can you see the golden sparkle, the big sparkles? That means you're on a good thing. And here comes Julie, just checking up on things. Great manager. And it happens, people come around to water flowers, they miss things, they're always in a rush, everyone's trying to get things done quickly. So I usually go that sixth or seventh person sometimes to make sure that every single flower's been watered. So you can see the gold sparkles going like crazy now. So at this point, having watered them myself, plus another five guests in this case, with the sparkling of the flowers right now, that gives me 80% chance that these flowers will reproduce. So given that there's 24 flowers in each garden bed, that should give me a really good chance to get some really good flowers after this. So what we'll do is we'll wake up tomorrow morning and see how many we get. Hopefully some of these will be gold. But check it out, it's snowing. So we're just cutting into winter now here in Australia. Let's see what Izzy's got to say. Yay! So aside from that exciting news, it looks like there's nothing much more to speak of. So thanks again, Izzy, for nothing. So as you would have seen in the video, I did spend about an hour or so having people come around and water the flowers for me. Um, so you can see in the first top row there that we've got about 24 flowers potentially all clonable and so we had about 19 create created out of that so that's 79 percent so close to 80 percent the middle row we've got three pairs of flowers the rest of them are cloning uh, so we got about 14 out of a possible 21 so that's 66 percent cloned and the very bottom row was a possible 11 so most of those are not cloning they're actually breeding with the one clone at the bottom and that gives us a 91% breed rate, which is absolutely insane. So in this black roses area, we've got about 25 roses, three of which look like they've turned gold, and 11 are just regular black roses, so we can always repurpose those to see if we can get some more. So the one thing I've never really tried is leaving these black roses in complete isolation, so I wonder if they turn gold by themselves and spawn gold, or do they always need a pair to, uh, to create that extra? Let me know if you do know, comment below. And so this is the area that I keep all my flowers once they're grown in a nice orderly fashion. So this is the morning after the snowfall for the first time, which snow obviously accounts to the watering just like rain. And this is equivalent of you watering yourself. So compared to the last day, there's a single flower. So I did not water these myself, it was just the snow. 
So that's the difference between having someone else come to visit versus doing it all yourself. And I know which one I'd rather do. So it looks like we've got one extra black rose there sitting at the left. So it's said that if you water it just by yourself or just relying on the rain, you'll only get 5% growth rate. If you invite one extra person, that bumps it up to 25%. So that's five times as much. Two takes it up to 35%. Three is up to 50%. Four, 65%. And if you get five or more, you hit a whopping 80%. And that's how I got so many flowers in this video. So however you decide to do it, whether it's Turnips Exchange or some other apps to invite people, friends or family, do invite them around because if you want to grow those hybrids, that's the only way to go. So this is Alexa Giovanni signing off for another video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe. I'm leaving you now with a little bit of a, uh, a find with Sherb. Gave me a bit of a chuckle, so hope you enjoy it as well. And if you've got any spare time, please do check out my other videos. They're linked on screen. So look forward to seeing you next time. See ya. I'm <laughs> sorry.